guests has now been on the Gastro Plus just for a few days. Um, and this is my first time tacking her back up. So we thought we'd record her to see how she was. Unfortunately, I didn't actually get a video when we first had her of her trying to eat me alive while I put the saddle on her. Um, but as you can see, she's quite chilled eating her hay. She's um, having a look at what I'm doing and she's totally aware that obviously the saddle's going on. Um, and I'm not going to obviously 100% trust her because um, she could still swing around and try and bite a chunk out of me. But for the moment, she looks quite happy eating her hay, so we just carry on tacking her up. As you can see, she's not really reacting to me pulling the girth up. And when I first tacked her up when she was with us, I mean, literally just putting the saddle on and... She was throwing the front legs at me, um, the teeth were coming, the back legs. Um, but yeah, happy with her. So hopefully this will be a start of going in the right direction. So today I haven't put her in the titanium mask. Um, I want to just see how she is from having started on the, the Gastro Plus. And, you know, she's only been on it for two or three days so I'm not expecting <laughs> miracles at the moment um, but I'm certainly happy with the way she is for tacking up. So she spotted the lawnmower which has actually thrown quite a few of them when they've seen it for the first time and this is the first time of Bess noticing that. Um, so I'm not going to argue with her you know she's she's a mare opinionated and we know that she's got a few little issues so I'm quite happy that she's just carried on and walked off um, which is you know a, a good start to today um, she feels a hell of a lot more relaxed through her body um, there is still tension there but as I think I said in the first video she felt like she was just buzzing um, and I I haven't had that feeling today with her so you know hopefully she is all working well for her and um, doing the things it's supposed to so we're just having a little walk around she's starting to jog so we'll probably go into trot in a minute but before we get to do that Bess decides that she's going to have a little tantrum um, so I'm just sitting with her, I'm not going to do anything to fall out with her about this. So what we're going to do now is walk away and then just get trotting, get her moving forward. Um, she's just a little bit uptight there, just jogging and she's not sure which way she's going to go with this. And because she's been so good tacking up, I want the rest of today's experience to be as good as we can get it. Um, the problem with these horses as well is when they've had a few issues with things and they've been feeling uncomfortable or are feeling uncomfortable it starts to become quite often as well mental um, issues so she will have some learnt behavior where she is going to try it on she's she's going to see how far she can push me a little bit and I know some people disagree with that, um, but, you know, I'm on her back. I know exactly what she's feeling and she's just questioning me a little bit at the moment. She certainly feels a lot more comfortable to me under saddle. Um, she's trotting around there a lot nicer. Um, there's still, you know, moments with the head coming up. I'm not expecting miracles. She's gone to have a little nap there, but she's gone off my leg. Um which is a lot more than what she was doing the first time as when she decided she was backing off and I put my leg on her she shut down completely on me and didn't want to go at all so there is going to be positives along the way but it's going to take time um, and because she's obviously come in and seen the law mower that's already kind of got her back up a little bit about working today um, 
but I just want to see how much she'll let me do with her. So we are just going to trot nicely round in a few circles, then have a little canter. You can see she's come up against me. Um, so I'm just trying to sit lightly in the seat. She's letting me put my leg on a lot more than what she was. So again, I'm happy with that. And I just want to keep encouraging her forward. If I can start to get the head down now, then she's going to start feeling a lot more comfortable again. And I know that she can work nicely like that when she wants to. Um, so again, I'm not going to fall out with her. We're just going to keep going and keep going and keep going today. It's still going to be a short session for her, but I don't want to stop. I want to see if she will let me ride her through it a little bit. Um, so yeah, little, little tantrums, head up. But again, the positives there are that actually she's letting me ride her forward through it. And she's not backing off my legs. She's not stopping. She's not slamming the anchors on, refusing to move. Um, she's just been a bit temperamental and asking what she can get away with. Now, the important thing that I'm doing is I'm just keeping a nice contact on the reins and I'm just trying to drive her forward as much as I can without sitting too deep into the saddle. Um, I'm still fairly light in there and just niggling her along as much as I can. Um, you know, driving her forward a little bit with my hands and just keeping my seat a little bit forward, but a head as much out of the way as I can, so I'm not going to get a broken nose. And she's starting to actually relax a little bit. She's starting to let me ride her. She's having a think about it all the time, and she's going back against me, and then she's relaxing a little bit. And that's what I want. As long as I'm getting those type of reactions, it's, it's all good. If she'd stopped dead, she'd gone back into trot, and she'd really thrown a tantrum about it, then I've got to start looking at other ways of working with her. Um, but she's just hopefully feeling as well that things aren't that uncomfortable for her anymore. And that what I'm asking her to do is not that bad. And hopefully she's going to start enjoying it rather than not wanting to work for me. Um, because I'm pretty convinced that actually she's a sweet little mare in there and we've just got to get her on side. So you can see the head is still a bit tense. I'm still having to drive her, but I'm not giving up. Now, this is the thing as well. These horses are hard work. Um, you know, they're, they're animals that they can go and go and go. And a lot of the time, the riders, when we have them, you don't realise how much work actually goes into the restarting process of some of them that can be a little bit tricky because it does tire you out physically and mentally with them sometimes. It's exactly the same as it can tire them out. And it can kind of be where you've just got to keep going for them, for their sake. Um, I mean, she's not been asked to do a lot today. Like I say, the, these sessions are about 15 minutes. Um, that's all she's she's going to do. But I've had to just keep niggling her and keep niggling her. And believe me, it's hard work and it does make you tired. But you can see now she is, again, just starting to think about, will I or won't I just start dropping that head and letting her in? And finally, there she goes. And I haven't fallen out with her. I've literally just sat there, just cantering around. I know a lot of people say, oh, do transitions, do this. If I started doing transitions with Bess at this stage and just trying to get her to walk to trot, trot to canter, she would just throw the towel right back at me. Um, she's a nappy little horse and we just need to go forward, 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 forward. And a nice little relaxed trot. Oh, good girl. So she starts to drop and I praise her. And we've done quite a lot on that rain for her, actually. Um, but what I want to do is, sometimes I will just work on one rain, especially if I've got a horse that's very one-sided um, and finds it very difficult on that rain. 
but for Bess, I just want to give her a little stretch off now so she actually can just loosen herself, feel happy about it. We'll give her just a tiny walk and then we'll just change the rein and see if she will just give it me something similar on that rein and we'll leave it at that today. Plenty of praise, nice long rein keeping everything just nice and simple. And she, the transition there into trot was just lovely. Um, you know, she's trotted away nicely with the head down. It's going to take time. She's got to strengthen up as well. She's changing shape so much since she's already been with us in this short space of time. And actually, since putting her on the Gastro Plus, she's looking a lot more conditioned as well. Um, when she came to us, she looked like a very fit off-the-track racehorse. Um, and now she's letting herself down a little bit more so it's you know it's all good and that's just in the the last few days I've seen that that little belly coming a little bit better so the trot works nice having a little bit of a moment with the canter she is a lot better on the left rein than the right rein for me um, and again that's why I would prefer to start working her on the left rein at the moment do some work on that and then move on to the right rein because she does struggle a little bit at the minute and I don't want to annoy her. It's all got to be a nice experience for her. So she's letting me come on. You can just see she's kind of just throwing her head sometimes to the outside a little bit. There's really not a lot of bend. She's very, very tight. Um, but again, that will come when now she's starting to let me ride her. We can actually start working a little bit more with her. And she has the equisage on as well, which helps get all those muscles nice and relaxed. But no napping. She's done quite a lot today um, in that short space of time. But she's come onto the other rein and she's letting me ride her. Um, having to work to try and get the head down a little bit, but I'm not going to overcook her today. I'm really pleased with what I've had so far. So we're going to now see if he'll just drop the head a little bit. And she, she went to stop and I wasn't quite ready for the walk. So we have just carried on just a minute because I don't want her getting into the attitude where she's dictating everything to me. Where she's finished, that's it. She's going to throw the towel in. And there we go. She's softened. She's trotting nicely. So I'm happy. She feels fab. And we will finish on that note for today. Um, it's been hard work on my part. Uh, but worth it really really pleased with her and really pleased with how much better she feels after being started on the supplement and hopefully the longer she's on it now the more improvements we'll continue to see